This house is a failure. Well, at least it's a failure in my opinion. Welcome to the Storycraft Society. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Garmin, and this week's video was supposed to be a speed build video. I wanted to see exactly how long it would take me to build a house from start to finish, uh, and the goal was going to be some kind of like inspirational, speaking into existence, you can do this too style video, and I realized that I just messed that all up. There's nothing wrong with that, and honestly the house turned out great, but you're just gonna have to watch uh, the rest of the video to figure out all of the reasons that I messed up and why I came to the conclusion that I think that this thing was a failure. Roll that footage, I guess. All right, first hour of the build, ready to get going. Hour number one. Let's go. Already a minute in and I realized I probably should have been a little bit more prepared. We'll see. So we are just under the first half hour and what I have done is like the basic structure of the building. We'll see where we are at the first hour. So just looking at the building, I realized that actually this upper part is too tall. This is two and a half inches here. And I guessed two and a half inches here. I think this needs to be dropped down to two inches. It'll make the whole piece look a little bit more cohesive. So I'm gonna go hack that off and then glue it back on a little bit smaller. Okay. All right, so pencils down. Here's where we, are, where we are after the first hour. We have a structure, right? That's not honestly as far as I would have liked to have been, uh, but we did have to cut all that top part off, which, I mean, hopefully that was the right choice and hopefully by the end of the project, I'll be looking at that going, oh yeah, that was really a smart choice. But all we can do now is just move on to the next thing, which I'm thinking, is going to start being marking out all of what's going to be like windows and that sort of thing and then starting to glue timbers on so we are ready to go into the next hour here we go Okay, so a thousand little tiny uh, strips of foam later, 
and we're ready to do some timbers. Gotta grab some tools first. I might clean this little area up. It's gonna kill some time, I think, but I'll be more productive if I've got a little bit of a cleaner area. Let's do that. decided that this outer section is going to be all planks, whereas this section is going to be stucco. I kind of wanted this one to be a little bit visually different. So what I'm going to do is go in with my X-Acto and just start cutting planks in. All right, so I'm cheating a little bit. After two hours, we are starting to see some progress. We have our door framed out. We have our addition here on the house starting to look like something. Timbers are taking a long time. I figured that they would. Uh, you just kind of have to sit with a big pile of them and just go and go and go and go until the piece gets finished. But as soon as I think we get the bottom part framed out, doing the roof will take a little bit of time. So then we're really going to start seeing this thing, you know, come together and, and look like something a little bit more than it does right now. So on to the next hour. Okay, so we are 20 minutes into our third hour and I got all of the timbers done along the bottom of the structure to get to this point, two hours and 20 minutes. On to the next. So I cut up a whole bunch of strips of foam core, which I'm going to use to do the trusses, I guess is the right term, uh, for up and along here. So I'm gonna get cutting those up and start gluing them on. So one of the hardest parts of a speed build like this is honestly knowing when you should plan and when you shouldn't plan. Obviously planning takes time, which makes it go slower, but also you can kind of build yourself into corners and give yourself problems that way if you aren't careful. It's not really something that I'm, I'm doing wrong particularly right now, but it's just something that I'm always thinking about when I'm trying to build really fast like this. You just don't know. All right, so rounding out hour three, and uh, here is where we are. The timbers just, they honestly take a long, long time. I'm starting to think that for a speed build, I might have gone a little bit too ambitious with this. Um, this is definitely taking longer than I thought it would, but I also am going a little bit more, I'm going a little deeper than I thought I was going to. So the next hour, hopefully we're going to see the roof getting done. If we're lucky, next hour we should be finished up the sculpt and just be into the painting process. So, let's go. Okay, so 10 minutes later I cut up a bunch of uh, strips that are going to serve as my roof. I don't really like doing shingles, period. I will do them when I have to on a build because you know it's the right aesthetic choice. But most of the time, if I can help it, I choose not to do shingles because they're the worst. And what I found is just doing strips like this going down looks great. It sells the point. I'm not sure if it's accurate or not. I mean, we're playing in a fantasy world, so I'm not sure that that matters. But that is my roof covering of choice.
Okay, so that was the last shingle roof plank uh, that we have to put down. So now we're moving on to our last bit of timbers. And once that's done, we're ready for uh, painting this thing up, I think. So I think what that means is our sculpt is done. Minus, I gotta do a little bit here on the door. So uh, let's get some iron banding here and we'll see what we can do. All right. Okay, so for a doorknob, we've got my own tacky glue and these uh, beads, I guess. It's not gonna be the prettiest doorknob in the world. If this was something that I was taking a little bit more time with, I would probably make sure to do uh, a fancier looking doorknob. But since this is a speed build, I'm just gonna go with the simplest solution that I can here. So I think the sad news is, is the reality is kind of getting painted to me that I'm gonna probably lose my last 18 minutes or so uh, to drying time on this glue. Uh, that's okay, it is how it is, but it's just adding more time than I wanted. Uh, if I could do this with hot glue, I would have. I kind of wish I could, uh, but unfortunately, this kind of thing, you just can't. Dry time sucks, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, there we go. Gonna wait for this to dry, and then we're moving on to Mod Podge. Actually, so it just hit me. Uh, I realized that we are not on to Mod Podge next because once our door dries, uh, then we're actually gonna be doing our stucco which is gonna be made with tile grout. However, that's gonna take an annoying amount of time for it to dry also. So, still got some time left. Uh, obviously dry time on the door, but that's gonna be nothing compared to the dry time it's gonna to take to get the tile grout to dry. So, we got, we got a ways to go. All right, so I have finished the stucco, or at least applying the stucco. Uh, and the sad thing is, is that now uh, the realization is hitting me that my speed build uh, sadly may not be as much of a speed build as I wanted. I don't think that that's too big of a deal. I did wanna see how fast I could do this. And I think the end product is gonna look pretty good once it's done, but I don't know I don't know at this point that I can call this a speed build anymore. Cool build, maybe. Awesome building I'll have when I'm done, possibly, but uh, speed build, I'm afraid not. Onward and upward, let's go. All right, so first day of building, we are coming up on four hours, well, right now, four hours and 56 minutes. Uh, but soon to be five hours and where I got in five hours of working today with a little bit of having to mess with the camera and that sort of thing, but not a lot of it, uh, is here. So the tile grout that I'm using for the stucco is obviously not dry yet, but we have the complete structure built. We haven't done any of the painting or anything. And basically now all we're going to be doing is letting it dry. I think I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I will start back into it tomorrow morning to see exactly how long the whole process takes. I would definitely be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed that the project could have gone faster. I certainly did not do any of the legwork that I needed to do early on to make sure that I get things done quickly. I didn't have all my tools out. I had to run around a lot and, and get different things here and there. On top of all that, I think I went way too ambitious. I went for a, you know, a two-story structure with an extra bit here. If I would have maybe went for just like a smaller, like cottage size building, I think I could have done it a lot quicker. But I guess that leaves uh, some room for a future video where I can see if maybe I can beat the time on this one or do an actual true speed build. I don't know. Uh, but with that said, uh, we're going to let this dry overnight and then we will pick it up tomorrow morning. So 
same shirt, another morning. It is the next morning and here we are. Our stucco is all dry and we are ready for Mod Podge. We're gonna go ahead and jump into starting the next hour and hopefully in, I would say, an hour or two, we should have this project painted out and finished. All right, on to paint. So about one, well, 45 seconds left, and I'm trying to get the stucco all finished and painted out. It's not gonna be the best paint job I've ever done, but it will certainly look fine on the table to get a quick building up. Basically what I did was I painted out a kind of uh, tan color and then moved up to a khaki, uh, putting on both layers pretty thin so I get a lot of color variance from the black undercoat to the tan up to the cream of the khaki. What I like about that is it makes the stucco look a little deeper, um, not just kind of one dimensional flat khaki color. There is the next hour in the books. Let's see what we got done. It's starting to look like something. I think the timbers, again, just like they did putting them on, is going to take a while to get painted out. But I'm crossing my fingers, and hopefully in the next hour we can have this piece knocked out. <laughs> minutes and 30 seconds left in this hour and we have most of the painting work done. I didn't go for anything crazy here. Again, I, I wanted this to be a speed build. I could have gone in and really like taken good care of each timber, but really I just went with a big dry brushing over of a couple different browns just to get some uh, variation in the wood. And now the only thing left for us to do is we got to paint the door out and paint the blacks out of the windows and then finish our windows up. So let's get to it. All right, so I have five minutes left and all I have left to do is the uh, ultraviolet resin in the windows to make the glass. So let's hope that we can knock this out in just a couple of minutes and be done at the end of this hour, okay. is looking like it's on the wall that we're not going to get this done. Dang it. All right, so the little mini race that I had there to the end was unsuccessful. I still have three more windows to do after these, but I'm going to go ahead and get those done and then uh, we'll get to the final glamour shots and the outro.
so there you have it. I learned a lot of things in doing this build and no build is ever pointless. You learn things, you grow, and I still ended up with an awesome house that I will definitely put onto my game table over and over again. Uh, it's not that I'm not happy with the result, but as far as a speed build goes, it really was a failure. One major thing that I didn't do, I guess, that I should have, is I didn't prepare any of my materials ahead of time and I didn't go in with a plan. I just started building and crafting and that took a whole bunch of time. And then I ended up with a house that was a lot bigger than it should have been. I could have done something that was just one story or I could have done something that was maybe just a part of a house or a little cottage. That would have gone a lot faster. I still think that it's inspirational to think the fact that in one eight hour crafting session or over a weekend, you could end up with a house. And then just in a couple of weekends, you could have a village worth of houses. But at the end of the day, this speed build definitely to me was a failure. But you know, I'm coming back next time, maybe not next week, but in a few weeks, and I'm gonna try to tackle this thing again and see if I can do another speed build. I don't feel like it's gonna be difficult to beat my time this time, but I'm definitely gonna see what I can do if I actually do a speed build. I'm telling you, four hours, that's my goal. I'm gonna build a house to tabletop standard in four hours. It's coming, there you go. This is the Storycraft Society. We'll see you next time. If you like this video, leave a like down below, leave me a comment, that always helps. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Actually, seriously, do that. Please subscribe to the channel if you like these videos. Uh, and hit the notification bell if you wanna know when our videos go live every week, which is Thursday. I'll be seeing you. Done.